What's good guys, it's just me here today and I'm joined by Alex and George, two of my friends. We've actually taken a bit of a long drive down to Hampshire. We're gonna be checking out two very interesting locations if we can get to them. The first one we're looking at is called Minley Manor Farm and it's an abandoned farmhouse um, and a couple of outbuildings. We're then gonna be going to a place which is gonna be demolished probably by the time you've seen this video called Pie Stock. And we're going to check out a soundproof anechoic chamber and it's absolutely enormous this place it was used to sound test jet engines used in bombers of the cold war such as the um, vulcan bomber stuff like that and we're going to go and check all that out if we can get in but we're going to have to wait for nightfall to do that because i'm not sure if the building site is going to be operating so we might have to be a little bit sneaky today Minley Manor Farm. It's actually called um, Home Farm or Foxley's Farm. Probably changed name over the years, but it was built in the 1900s as a model farm, a self-contained farm, purpose built to be ideal for the layout of farming. So that's what we're gonna go and have a little look at now. In the distance there, but there is actually Minley Manor itself. And it's actually a stunning piece of architecture that, but we're not here to visit that today. We're here to go and check out the abandoned farmhouse. Now, as we were driving up to this place, we noticed it's actually quite near some Ministry of Defence sites. I think they've got the Sandhurst place and ranges and stuff not that far from here. And there was a lot of signs near the gate um, saying, you know, don't touch any debris and all that sort of thing. So it did worry us a little bit. We even saw a couple of tanks parked up <laughs> yeah, down the did. road. <laughs> a bit scary entrance that was. Yeah. So here we go, this is the exterior from the rear side now. This looks like it would have been a sort of courtyard or some some sort of like outdoor fountain type area. There's bits of concrete here now. But look at the state of this building. People have been in there and yet look at the condition. It's literally the roof is like bowing in, the slates are falling off. But look, you can see this is all nice bit of Edwardian architecture I'm guessing because you've got here the slates on the ground this is all proper old school building materials that are used here
So as you can tell, it's getting pretty dark now. We've just um, had a scour around the perimeter of the farmhouse. Unfortunately, there's no way in. It would be brilliant just to have a walk around the grounds because there's about four or five sort of different house type buildings on that site. But there's so many holes that have been patched up in the fence. Unfortunately, we've come at a time where every single hole on there has been sealed up probably five or more times. I think we're gonna have to call this one a bit of a loss. It was nice to see the architecture from the outside, but now we're gonna um, go over to the next place in the dark and hopefully we're gonna get to show you something else that's even more impressive. Right guys, so we're now at Pie Stock. We're outside the wooded areas that we need to use to find our way in. We're gonna go and try and find an access point. It's absolutely pitch black. Literally take one turn in and it's so dark down this road. You can't see in front of you. It's crazy. So we're gonna try it and find our way in. Most people have been doing this on a Sunday afternoon, but because we're doing it on the weekday, we've had to come after dark, which, you know, wasn't the easiest of decisions because it's really making it difficult, but fingers crossed, we're gonna give it our best shot. Look at the size of this place. So guys, I can't believe it, we've actually made it inside the anechoic chamber of Pi Stock. Anechoic, it means it's soundproof and this whole room is covered in these massive sets of three like foam triangles and they're all put into this crazy pattern all over the walls and ceiling and it's so high in here and that was for soundproofing so they could test the jet engines and there's this big column that goes up the middle behind me. There's also a big tunnel which we're gonna go through later but the size of this place it's insane. The boys are all impressed. Um, I'm impressed. I'm pleased we actually managed to make it in. There was a moment where we were having to lay down in the grass because we saw torch lights shining our way and we were lying down in the grass for a good 15 minutes hoping not to get spotted but somehow we've managed to make it in. And it's, yeah, it's just a crazy, really unusual sort of place. We're gonna give you a little tour of this place. In the middle, we've got this huge column If you just shine the torch up to the top a bit, you can sort of just see how far up that goes, a very long way. And this is like a big old column um, where I think some of the sound testing was done. And then, if we come round here to the centre, we've got this sort of observation type platform in the middle. It was built in, I think, 1974, but it was done up again in the 90s, some of it. And we've got this microphone boom up in only describe that as that's where probably the microphone would have been if you look up there there we go the blue bit that was added in the 90s and that's part of the air intake which goes in from outside and it's basically just a massive fan and then look if you can see the size of this place George is standing here right. <laughs> and he looks tiny in comparison I mean look at this wall we've got this massive sort of wind tunnel type thing just look how big that is. I bet that's actually quite a high one through up there. We've got like these sort of little rail things, little stands with numbers all around them. Oops. Got the royal box up there. Yeah, that's for um, VIPs to come and watch the jets. 
<laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I think that was for like fire observation and safety and also, yeah, for extra observers. But you get a VIP platform. Just want to say a shout out to some of the explorers that gave us a bit of intel about this place and also did some good videos and photos of this place. Urbex Untold and Rob, thanks for your help there. Um, I've seen your video, it's good stuff and Rob you've got some good photos there. Sam, cheers for helping us. I think you won the first to actually come into this place that I knew about. Um, I know the IKS crew, they've been here. Also, um, thanks to Michael who helped me quite recently with this place. So guys, we're out now of the sound chamber. That was an absolutely amazing place. One of the most unusual places that I think I've been to. Um, hope you enjoyed watching it. We didn't climb through the tunnel in the end because it was actually really high up. Some of the steps up onto it had been removed. Now I think we've actually done this place on hard mode because we've done it in a weekday when the building site's still operating. Literally within seconds of exiting the building, security van with flashing lights went driving right by us. Fortunately, it didn't spot us. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you wherever the next adventure takes us. Bye for now.